Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. I post four beauty related videos a week on a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday at 10 a.m. If that's the kind of content you like, then please subscribe down below because there will be a giveaway at 500. And yeah, let's just dive straight into this. So L'Oreal came out with, a little while ago now, some of their own matte crayons. Now, obviously I had to buy a few and I bought five, which I feel like I did pretty well buying just five of them because I could have bought all of them, which I feel like there's so many more in the range. But I did get three like nudie colours and two darker colours. And yeah, I just feel like we can do a swatching video, a review on them. And I am wearing one right now without a lip liner, can you believe? And this is the shade Caramel Blondie. So it's a very pink shade, but it's a very lovely shade. It's not really a me shade, but I'm sold on it. Now these are very, they're not matte matte, but they're not satin. They've got a nice like sheen to them and they do last a little while. They'll dry down after maybe 30 seconds. So when you put them on, they'll be a bit more shinier, but after about 30 seconds, they dry down. And yeah, this is the shade Caramel Blondie. What do you guys think? I love it. And you know what I really love about these is when you open them and twist them up, okay, they're a little rounded. But like they get right under my cupid's bow really nicely and I just absolutely love them. Let's see how much product we get in there. Oh, quite a bit of product. Now these retail for $9.99, I got them on free for two. I just had to and I know yeah I bought five but that's because I bought some other L'Oreal lip products. But yeah, let's go and swatch the second shade. Okay, so this is the next shade. I've swatched it here. This is called Trace Sweet. It's number 104. Whereas the one that I did swatch first, Caramel Blondie, is 102. Now this is your true nude. Like a nice brown. But it feels more like a 90s brown to me. And I really love it. I... Like I said, it's you can tell how much more brown to the Caramel Blondie shade is. Now this one has gone a little bit more matte. That might be because with the first one I had a bit of lip balm on underneath. This has gone really matte. So basically with a lip balm, they'll take a little while to dry down. Without a lip balm, they are really matte but movable. Your lips don't feel stuck. They are nice and like... I just feel like this one's really plumped my lips a lot. And you know what I've forgotten to say? That these have that original L'Oreal smell to them, that vanilla scent, and I absolutely love it. Some people don't, but I really do. Okay, this next shade is like a raspberry colour, and it is a lovely, like, summery shade to me. This is the shade 105 Sweet and Salty. I love this shade, like... The reason why I've bought these shades is because I really, really like them. But this one has made my teeth feel a little bit more whiter. I don't know if you can tell. And it's also, like, a really nice version of the Maybelline Romantic. It's like a muted version of it in my face. Um, in my eyes, this is like a nice muted version. So if that's too bright for you, then I would opt for this. This is lovely. And you can see that it's matte and I just love the raspberryness to this color. Okay, this is one of those pink toned reds that I completely, completely love. Like, look at that. My teeth do look a little bit yellow from this shade, but I'm not mad at it. It's really nice. This one, because it is a darker colour, what well, a brighter colour, I did have to put a few layers on. This would be a great spring-summer shade as well. Like, it's just so nice. Like, it makes your lips feel plump. Um, and they look really juicy, even though they're matte. Like, I love that matte effect that they have. They don't bleed or anything like that either, which is insanely good because I have a problem with lips lipsticks bleeding on me even with a lip line it's just because around here I get quite sweaty 
and doing that like tissue mattifying putting powder on, it's just so long but I don't really mind because I love lip colours so yeah I don't mind if they do bleed but I am extremely impressed that these do not bleed and do you know what I feel like I want to get the whole collection I've got half of it I might as well go for the full however many there's probably about 10 to 12 shades and I absolutely love this shade now I just want to show you how it is when I apply them now the last shade I forgot to tell you was 111 little chili that was the raspberry shade now I have rubbed it off slightly it's left like this nice color underneath I actually really like it um, and this one is called 112 Spice of Life. And this is what it swatch. Oh, it's like a brownie red. Or like a true red. A dark red, anyway. So let me show you how it applies. This one's quite more smoother than the rest on my arm. I must admit, getting a straight line in the corner is quite tricky. Okay, that was the application. It is a little bit more trickier with the darker shades to get that precise line, but what I find best with these is to use the like little point, tip it round, and use that as the lip liner, but be very careful that you don't get it on you. But it is, I have like messed up the inner corner a little bit, but this is a really, oh fuck. <laughs> This is a really nice red colour. This is the type of red I die for, literally. It is an amazing red. Like, the shades on the outer packaging really do not reflect the shade on your lips. And this one has made my teeth look a little bit whiter, which I can appreciate. And, yeah, they feel smoother swatching them on my hand than they do swatching on my lips. But they haven't dried out my lips. And I do know that these last a very long time. I have eaten with them before and they've only slightly faded so you only need to top them up a little bit. But with this, if you're going to wear this, I suggest take them, taking this one out with you because it will fade. It fades nicely but it will fade and if you want to keep it topped up and vibrant, put this in your handbag because you're going to need it. The colour payoff for these is absolutely insane. You need the littlest amount to get a nice colour payoff. You do have to maybe put two layers and not one, but it's not like you have to load it up with like three or four layers. One or two layers will do. One layer will be a nice little wash of colour, but two layers is absolutely insane. So yeah, I do like the fact that they are not too opaque, but not like too transparent. So they're quite kind of like nicely in between. And for a matte lipstick, they, are not too drying either they're like you can move your lips about my lips feel a bit more drier now because i have taken off five lipsticks but they're not too drying so my final thoughts on this collection is it's very long lasting for a lip crayon you do need to top them up throughout the day but just not as much as some of the other ones so they last a little bit longer than the revolution crayons i think that's just because these are quite matte but you will need to top up a little bit. The price point's really good. $9.99 isn't too bad. I love the scent of them. They smell so good. And I also love that it really can really def like make my... I can get into my Cupid's bow really nicely with them because of the shape. However, it is a bit harder on the outer corners. But just flip it around like I said. And use it like a lip liner and just be really steady. Maybe put your elbow on like a table or something. And then like be steady when you do lip line or just wear a lip line with it and a lip line up but I didn't I wanted to show the true colours and yeah I do love the vanilla scent though I must admit it I do love that scent so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I would highly recommend these lip crayons I think you can tell by my overall review of them is that I really love them and if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will always answer your questions. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.